Double kill! Triple kill! Maniac! Hey guys, after all the nerfs Cecilion received, it seems like people have forgotten about him and are not banning him anymore. A lot of players struggle with balancing his damage and his mana regeneration. It's a little bit tricky. But in this video, I will show you guys how to play and build him efficiently, so you will be able to completely destroy your opponents with Cecilion. This is the recommended build. You definitely want to gain Chanted Talisman, because this will allow you to spam his first skill and gain stacks a lot quicker. And this is how I set up the emblem. It's really important that you use the support emblem and set it up like this, so you don't run out of mana and can move around the map a lot faster. As for this spell, I recommend Flicker. When I saw that the enemies picked Hanzo, I immediately knew he would try to steal our buff. That's why it's a good idea to learn as many heroes as you can, so you'll also know how to counter them as well. Usually Hanzo players will start at the small camp and hit the minions for 5 times, then they will use the sprint to steal the blue buff. I know all this because that's what I usually do when I play Hanzo as well. Buy a magic necklace first before buying the jungle item. As you can see, they had 4 players in the middle lane, so they were definitely plotting to invade our blue. Here I was trying to pull the jungle monster, but unfortunately Hanzo was still able to steal it. It's okay though, since I got the first blood instead. But Cecilion really needs the blue buff, because without it, he will run out of mana very quickly. But thanks to the support emblem and the way I built Cecilion, I could still manage to keep my mana up. You want to build him the mana boots as soon as possible, so you can keep spamming his first skill to farm his passive stacks. In case you didn't know, every time his skills hit a target, he will gain 8 mana, and the more mana he has, the more damage his skill will inflict. But I noticed that his second skill doesn't give him his stacks though, he could either be a bug or they forgot to include it in the description. The enemies are really focusing our bottom lane, so in retaliation, we should kill their marksman, since he is pretty vulnerable. Don't be afraid of turret diving when your team has the number advantage. Sicilian first skill is the main source of damage. Make sure to keep farming his passive stacks, so later in the game, his first skill will deal an insane amount of damage. By the way, if you can hit the target right in the center of the circle, it will inflict a lot more damage. Here you can see I'm waiting a little bit before casting my first skill. I want to make sure I last hit the minions to get the mana back from the mana boots. In case you didn't know, you will only gain the mana back when you inflict the last hit. I noticed that the enemy's tanks are putting a lot of emphasis in our bottom lane, so let's use the information to our advantage and keep killing their ADC instead. You can hear when Kufra is charging his first skill, even when he's hiding in a bush, so when that happens, retreat a little bit and wait for the right timing to engage. Oops. 
Sicilian's ultimate boosts his movement speed briefly and issues 40 magic bullets that slow the enemies and will also provide him some health back. If your team has the advantage and you are taking objectives such as the turtle or lord and you see that there are some suckers trying to steal it, stop attacking the objectives and just take care of them first. His second skill stuns the enemies that are in the path. He has a short delay, but the range is pretty wide, so it's not really hard to aim.
One shot almost half HP Bruno, and the damage with your skill as the game progresses. But even though he deals such an absurd amount of damage, you have to pay a lot of attention to his positioning, because once he gets stunned, he can die extremely fast, seeing he's pretty squishy. Also without his ultimate, he's a lot easier to deal with, so if his ultimate is on cooldown, don't play too aggressively and wait for it to be up first, a mistake that I learned right here. When I was playing this game, I had no idea how I killed the Kufra, since he still has some HP left when I hit him with my first kill, but after rewatching this gameplay, I saw that the electric current from the lightning truncheon was activated, so it probably hit him in the end. Lightning truncheon is extremely OP with Cecilion, once you have farmed enough stacks. You probably might be wondering why I'm not using Clock of Destiny. Even though this item does give you some mana, getting the Enchanted Talisman is way better because it helps with the mana regeneration and cooldown reduction. I have tested both builds and I definitely feel more comfortable with the Enchanted Talisman build. Literally two shots the Bruno. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, or else you'll keep getting those trolls and toxic teammates. Hey guys, I have decided to do a weekly skin giveaway. I will randomly choose 3 winners. The prize is 900 diamonds worth of giveaway for each person. All you have to do is subscribe, which is very important, and leave a comment. But please, don't leave your ID or the skin you want, because I won't be picking those. If you are selected, I will send a reply to your comment, so pay attention to your notification. Thanks and best of luck.